Pregame.com. College basketball action Thursday night, ESPN 2. It's on the deuce tonight, Virginia Tech at Miami, Florida. I'm Marco D'Angelo. I'm joined by Stephen Nover. Stephen, I'm going to set this one up. I'll let you counterpunch me. I'm, I'm going to make the uh, free play in this one, but we're projecting this game. We're taping on Wednesday. This game's being played on Thursday. I'm taping it at projecting a line of minus eight, eight and a half. We're going to go with eight and a half. Little tough to put a number on here because you're going to get a big adjustment um, on Miami of Florida this week because of what they did on Sunday. They went to Duke, upset Duke on Super Bowl Sunday on a floor that Duke just doesn't lose at home, you know, and uh, it's a crazy game. And so naturally, you know me, I'm a situational handicapper. Scheduling wise, this is a huge flat spot for Miami of Florida off of a big win like that, you know. You go on the road and win at Duke. What do you, what do you think? Certainly, uh, you're correct, Marco. Uh, I think uh, the play here is is with you to fade Miami in this spot. They're getting top 25 votes for the first time. Uh, you know, they're the media darlings. This is uh, you know one of the biggest wins you know that they've had in a you know in a long time and. Uh, it, uh, it lays out, out well for, you know, to fade them here. What makes it, you know, just beating a team like Duke is a natural go against, but to me what makes it even more is the way that game unfolded. And I don't know if you got to see it, but Miami of Florida had a huge lead. They were up like 14, 16 points on Duke, and Duke made a gallant run in the second half tied the game up and sent it into overtime. Now, Stephen, you've been doing this as long as I have. When a team blows a huge lead like that and goes into overtime, they're losing the game. Yeah, you can, the momentum's you know. gone. The team that came from behind and sent it into overtime is going to win, win the game nine out of ten times. Give Miami, Florida credit. They held their composure after blowing that big lead. And it won in overtime, and actually won convincingly yep. in overtime. Mm -hmm. um, I got to give them a lot of credit for that. But with all of that, that just sets them up for an even bigger fall, I think, on Thursday night. Well, there's other factors, too. You just can't really blindly say, you know, I'm taking this because of the letdown factor, although obviously that's a key component. But there's other factors. There's a look ahead, too, for Miami. On Saturday, they play Florida State, which is a, a top 25 team. Mm -hmm. I believe they're 15th ranked. In his rivalry game for those two universities. Yeah, exactly. You know, an in-state rivalry. And uh, Miami, it's not like they have a great home court either. I mean, they draw, Marco, less than 4,500 fans. I mean, compare that to some of these other ACC yeah. teams, you know. it's uh, The other thing that I like in this, and this is one of my little uh, handicapping quirk theories, um, I call it the ABC theory. And... I'm going to take a shot at John Q. Public because this is how John Q. Public looks at games. And uh, they're going to look and see that Miami beat Duke. They're also going to look at Virginia Tech and see that Virginia Tech just played Duke a couple games back. Duke slaughtered my, er, Virginia Tech. So if Team A can beat Team B and Team B beats Team C, you know, now when they're, they're playing the other side, well, this is an automatic. You know, if Miami beat Duke and Duke beat Virginia Tech, Miami's going to roll them. It doesn't work that way, okay? So that's another angle that makes me like Virginia Tech plus what's going to be an inflated line because of that win and because it's on TV. But the final factor is Virginia Tech's a team in their last nine games they're only two and seven straight up. However, in the seven losses, um, all but two of those games were by four or less points. They've played very competitive. The only two teams that they got blown out by was Duke and North Carolina, the two elite teams of yep. the ACC. Yep. Now, we, again, going back, well, Miami just beat Duke, but we're not putting Miami as an, an elite team in the ACC yet. So I think with the inflated number, Virginia Tech's, uh, you know, habit of playing tight, you know, they don't beat themselves, they don't get blown out in games. I think this is going to be a game that's going to go right down to the wire. 
And if Miami comes out flat to start the game, you give that underdog confidence. You know, the longer they stay in the game, you know how it is. They get more confident, and then they're in it right to the end. I see this going to the buzzer. I'm going to grab the points here. If, I'm, if I estimated this a little bit high, um, you know, and, and Vegas doesn't adjust it as much as I think they will, even if it only comes out at 7, I still like Virginia Tech. I see it as a 1-3 to three point game. My stamp of approval. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to sleep good tonight knowing I've got <laughs> Stevens stamp. Well, I got Brian's the other day. I'm getting yours. Wow. I guess it's only RJ that doesn't give me stamps of approval. Uh, this is a Thursday night game. I want to tell you guys, uh, every Thursday at pregame, we offer one capper. He offers a best bet for a buck. That's right, a dollar. You know, just like the Happy Meal at McDonald's. You can get it for just a dollar on Thursdays. This week, a guy that's near and dear to my heart is going to be the dollar handicapper. Yeah, you guessed it. I'm giving a play away for a dollar. Mm. Our producer Dustin's back there cracking up. But, you know, I'm on the, you know, who else to be on the value meal but, <laughs> but me this week? <laughs> We've got a dollar play. I'm going to give you a bet, one of my best bets on Thursday. Check it out at pregamepros.com on Thursday, $1. See, last time we were on, we gave you a winner worth that dollar pick. Let's see if we can do it again for you this week. And check that out every Thursday. It's a great deal at pregame, Stephen. Uh, it's a good way to, you know, introduce yourself to maybe a capper you haven't tried before or, you know, one of the old guys get a discount. Check it out. We're going to be back. Steven uh, is going to have some NBA, and uh, one of them we're going to actually do a little battle on. Uh, maybe a lunch bet might be in, in order. We'll have to see here when we get to that one. But we're coming back. Next game up, NBA, Thursday night, TNT. Going back to the glory years, Lakers and Celtics. They're not the total marquee anymore, are they? They're still pretty good. Well, yeah, we'll talk about it too. next. Lakers-Boston up next.